Okay, y'all, I've been dying to tell y'all about this one, child. Let me tell you about how this white boy literally changed my view of men back when I was still a minor, okay? So, basically, I went to this all-girls Catholic school, you know, the exclusive type, like, think Gossip Girl, that type of school. So, me and my friend that didn't go to my school went to this all-boys school that was nearby, for a party and so we at this party we having a good time then all of a sudden my other friend's boyfriend comes over to us and he's like hey my friend think you cute like he trying to holler or whatever and i'm like okay cool bring him over so he brings the guy over and it's this really cute white boy and i'm just like hmm that's not what i expected but okay let's see what this is all about so I'm talking to this boy. I find out that he used to go to my school for middle school. So we know some of the same people or whatever. And so we just talking and then eventually he gets me and my friend Snapchats. And so then the next day, next day, I'm not even thinking about this guy anymore. But all of a sudden he Snapchats me. And then I check with my friend. I'm like, did he Snapchat you? And she's like, nah, he didn't. So I'm like, okay, what's this about? So then um, we start Snapchatting. He sent me something at the pool. Like he sent me something with his sister in it. Like it's a lot going on. So then on Monday, I'm checking in with my friends uh, and the people at school about this boy. I'm like, do y'all know him? And they're like, you talking to him? Are you talking to him? How did that happen? And I'm like, girl, what? What? I, I don't understand. So then I go and do my research. I'm in my math class with my friend. We, we doing our sleuthing. And then I find out that this boy is rich. Like, not normal people money. Like, he has a private plane. He has a $1 million house. Like, the whole package. Mom got me a shark life jacket. Do you like it? I'm going to go swimming for my first time. First, I watched my mom swim. It's her favorite thing, but I'm scared. I'm ready. No, I'm not. Now I'm ready. No, I'm not. This stuff's spooky. Okay, I got this. Heckin' dad ruined my brave boy moment. This ain't so bad. Splash. 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 I am water daga just like my mama. Hello, human mom. We. Here I go. Splash, splash. I can't wait to be as good as a swimmer as my mom. I am Hudson, baby shark boy. Watch out, I might bite your toes. Mom said I was the cutest baby shark. I'm never complimenting a British person ever again. Why did I waste 30 minutes of my entire life just complimenting someone? I was just like, hey, I really like your shirt. He goes like, oh, do you? I was like, yeah, it's really nice. And he was like, is it? And I was like, yeah, like, nice color. And he was like, do you think so? And I was like, yeah, like, it it's a nice cut. And then he goes like, really? And I was like, okay. Uh, see, now you're not giving me an exit. I just want to leave. I I'm done complimenting you. You're either not going to accept it or move on you can't do this you know you can't just keep asking for other validation like it's too much and then i was just like okay let me end this i was like where'd you get it from like i want to kind of get that shirt too and he was like would you would you would you really do you think so i can't do that Honestly, I think we all met that girl that goes, Oh, I have a lot of guy friends. And I think all of us guys know when a girl says that, it's like an automatic red flag. Like, I remember back in high school, I met this girl in math class, and I remember her walking up to me, and she said, Hey, Bubba, can I add your snap for, like, homework reasons? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I was, like, basically failing almost all my classes, because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the smartest kid when it comes to school. But at the same time, though, I was, you know, in that state where I did hit puberty, so I didn't look ugly, so a girl getting my snap wasn't a big shock. Anyways, I remember when I I went home that day she ended up snapping me she snapped me saying to come over and help her with homework that she had and when i asked her what kind of homework she said math so i already know it was automatically just bs and she wanted to just you know do the devil's tango so i ended up going over and when i went over let's just say the most sweatiest things happened fall for part two so when I went to her place, I remember walking through the door and then she told me, hey, can you like help me like plug in my PS4? At first, I was really just confused because I thought I was going to help her with math, but we ended up just watching Netflix, which is, I guess, better. And while we were watching Netflix, I remember she put her hand on my thigh and let's just say we did end up doing the devil's tango. But while doing it, I remember just seeing her phone just blow up every second. Like it got to the point where it just kept going and going to the point where I just got annoyed. And I remember just stopping mid devil's tango and saying, oh, uh, your phone 
phone keeps going off. She looked at me and said, oh yeah, it's just all my friends are just messaging me. But as awkward as it was saying that right in that moment, I remember she got up and ended up going to the bathroom. And what I found out later on was probably the most worst thing to find out after doing the devil's tango with fall for part three. When this girl went to the bathroom, I remember literally looking at her phone and she left her phone wide open. I don't know why, but let's just say she was on her home screen when she went to the bathroom. And I remember picking up her phone and usually I'm not snoopy when it comes to girls, but this girl's phone like was going off. And when I opened her phone, I went on Snapchat to see who was messaging her. And it ended up being like 50 guys that just kept snapping her photos. And I remember opening one of them. And let's just say I saw a little guy's eggplant just on her phone. And I remember as she was coming back from the bathroom, I literally heard the door open and I chucked her phone on the table. When she came in, I remember she wanted to go for round two, but I instantly just got up and said, hey, yeah, listen, I'm not like really in the mood anymore. And I remember getting up and actually leaving that house. To this day, she still messages me of what happened, but I'm going to be honest, I kind of just forget about it because I think any guy would agree when a girl has a lot of guy friends, let's just say they're more than just guy friends in their own head. I don't know. Anyways, fall for more embarrassing stories. My husband is a transgender man and we've always wanted to start a family together. I have a huge fear of pregnancy, so he offered to carry the baby. It was an insane process. He had to stop taking testosterone for a long time, but he was amazing throughout the whole process and I did everything in my power to help him feel more comfortable. None of my family know that he's transgender. They're homophobic, transphobic, all the phobics, but our friends know. He posted an ultrasound on his private Instagram, not knowing that my sister follows him on a burner account. Well, she saw the photo and told my whole family. They were furious that I wouldn't tell them. Our plan was always to say that we adopted. They assumed I was the one pregnant and blew up on me, so I just let it go and rolled with the lie because I wasn't going to out my husband. The first couple of months, I let them visit. Eventually, I'd start eating big meals and purposely bloating myself to the point of discomfort so I looked pregnant. They said around the six-month mark that I was remarkably small, but I just played it off. Eventually, I couldn't lie any longer, so I looked for every excuse in the book not to see my family. I turned down the offers of baby showers, gender reveal parties, and anything that would require us seeing each other. Luckily, my family lives an hour away, and we all live busy lifestyles, so them randomly visiting wasn't an issue. The one time they did pop in unexpectedly, we were out of the house. If they FaceTimed, I made a point to be in bed feeling horribly sick so I couldn't give the bump update. I lied my ass off, and they just thought that I had a rough pregnancy. My husband gave birth a year ago and went straight back on testosterone, and now we're happy as ever. My family have met our daughter, and they adore her. However, a week ago, after an argument between myself and a friend, said friend decided to out my husband by messaging my family and included proof. They did it by adding everybody to a group chat, posting screenshots and basically the whole story, then saying, I'll leave you all to discuss. Then they left the chat and blocked me and my husband. In a transphobic rage, my mother raced to my home and all but beat my front door down. I had to call the cops. I've been disowned, but that hasn't stopped the daily calls and texts coming from my parents, aunts, uncles, siblings, and etc. They've been leaving nasty transphobic slurs on my voicemail and other hateful crap. I ended up crying to my friend yesterday who told me that I should have been honest with my family as it would have saved me a lot of heartache. That, or we said we miscarried, then adopted later. I'm not happy things played out the way they did. I just feel so sad now. Was I wrong to lie to my family in order to protect my husband? Why I'm so hesitant to give out free products to influencers. December 19th. Hey, I love your products. I'd love to help promote your small business by sharing on my socials. Hey, thank you so much. That would be amazing. I can get a goodie box made up and sent to you to test and promote. Sends over 50 pounds worth of stuff. Two weeks later. Hey, I hope you love the products I sent you. Let me know what you think and when you will be able to post on your socials. Influencer has ignored me since posting out the products in December and still no posts on any social accounts. Yes, we 
with me, dance with me, yeah.